What's up guys, it's Josh and today I'm going to be talking about fame. So first and foremost, I'd like to mention that I will be changing my channel to be more inspirational instead of all those fun videos. I will be still doing fun videos, but I want to focus on being more inspirational. A lot of you guys ask me, why don't I stick to my banner of new videos every Sunday? I mean, I should change that, but the reason for that is because I believe in quality over quantity. I'd rather be the guy who posts one video a month but it's full of quality and he loves what he's doing than that guy who posts a video every single day of the month but they're less filled with quality because people get used to those videos and they won't be anything special anymore. That's no hate to anyone that uploads regularly because I know as a videographer that that takes a lot of work, a lot of effort and me personally I wouldn't be able to do that. I tried but I saw my banner. I didn't stick to it because I just can't and I know it's hard. So, hats off to you guys. So that was just an opening, now let's actually talk about the fame. I don't want to sound like your mom or your dad, or anyone from the previous generation who has no idea about internet and social networks, but I'm going to talk about this anyways. So I'm lucky enough to have a bunch of followers in the virtual world online, and I'm super grateful for that. I mean, it's super cool having a bunch of people supporting you and loving your content, loving what you do. But a lot of you guys have got the wrong conception of what those numbers mean. And that's why I'm going to explain now what those numbers mean to me. So let's rewind two years ago to when I first started my YouTube channel. My first video was just to put a video online to see what would happen basically. And after that first video, I got positive feedback, people loved it and I wanted to do more and more and more. And then I had this goal in mind that I wanted to become YouTube famous because in the beginning it seemed possible. But then after a while I realized that that's really impossible and it's really hard, you have to be really dedicated. And that ultimate goal of being YouTube famous turned into getting a couple thousand subscribers. So when I got my first thousand subscribers, it was a good feeling, like I finally hit a milestone and I was succeeding. But that feeling only lasted a couple minutes, maybe one evening, and then what? And then I went back to ground zero and I wanted more and more and more. Us humans always want more and more and more. When we finally get something, we always want more. No matter if you have 300,000 subscribers, 20 subscribers, you always want more. If you're poor, you want more money. If you're rich, you want more. It's always more. So what happened when I hit 1,000 subscribers? I wanted more. Like I said before, it's amazing all those supporters that are on YouTube supporting my work. Not just mine, but everyone in the community on YouTube. But people need to see the real power of YouTube. Like I keep asking myself, imagine if I made just one video, but like a really, really, really inspirational video that will stick in people's heads and get them motivated to do something. Like people that don't understand that YouTube can do that like in a second. You just make the video and it's worldwide. Anyone can see it. Anyone can change their thoughts. Like of course I love making these fun videos, these challenges and all that and the short films, but I want to do something bigger. If YouTube has a power to do something to change the world, it's like YouTube's giving us on a silver platter a medium to change the world. So in the future, I'm going to try to make more inspirational videos that get people motivated. In conclusion, I just wanted to say that I personally look at my social media as a platform to put my memories on. Like I'm a guy who loves making memories and gets mad at himself if I fail to capture a memory. And that's basically why I have Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. So I can have a place to place all my memories. And whenever I'm bored, whenever I'm sad, I can reminisce on the past and the good times. And it's all in one place. Of course, it's cool getting feedback from people. I mean, it's public, so everyone can see it. And that's also just adds on to the bonus. But what I keep asking myself is, why is that so important? Of course, it's public, so all these people can see it, and they can like it or whatever. And then I'm here worrying about if my picture hits a thousand likes or not. I mean, it's so stupid, that's so stupid of me. This contradicts everything I just said in this video, but I'm gonna be honest, and that's me. And that's probably most of you too. I don't understand why people have the need to share it online to everyone. It's like it's almost like an addiction. I don't believe the one person that posts on Instagram doesn't do it for the likes because if you don't do it for the likes, then why do you have to post it? That's the only, is it for yourself? Then if, you, if it's for yourself, then keep it on some folder on your computer. But it's always to see the opinions of others and to get some sort of attention, which is nothing wrong as long as you're getting the right attention. But for me, I like to call myself a memory capture. 
I'm a photographer, videographer, and that's basically what it is. Nothing more than capturing a moment, capturing a memory. I gotta admit though, I started off on the wrong path because when I first started I wanted to be YouTube famous like I mentioned before and I would send links to people, my friends on Facebook to subscribe and to send to their friends. Like I was really thirsty to become Insta famous, but that's not how it's supposed to be done. And I realized that just now and that's why I'm making this video. Now I realize that the key to a successful YouTube channel is doing something you love and you're passionate about. And if you do that, if you follow those two rules, then people will come along by themselves. And if you do something just to do something, just to get feedback, just to get likes, people will see that. But if you do something you're passionate about, for example me, I love making videos, I love learning new things on how to edit videos and stuff. And people have told me that they see that and that's what I want to be continued. That's all I have to say. but. It's kind of hard in our generation being surrounded by a bunch of people who have their heads in the clouds and are worried about likes and getting attention. And I don't blame you guys because I'm like that too. Of course likes are cool when people say, Oh Josh, your family's so cool. I wish I had your life. That's like I feel good. But then, then what? What then? It's the same. So what? So my advice to you is just ignore everyone. Be different. Go against the stream if you have to and people will appreciate you more for that than for posting something to get a certain amount of likes. So that's all I have to say in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something and yeah, see you guys next time. That was awesome. Girl, I know you're bad and I know that you can have any guy that you want.